Hello team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prab and today we're going to discuss some interview questions on penetration testing. In this video, we're going to discuss five questions which give you the better visibility about how to prepare for pen testing interview. My name is Prab Nair. For more information, you can refer my LinkedIn profile. And if you're new to my channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos on a similar topic. So without wasting a time, let's start with the first part. Okay, the first scenario. See, normally what happened, the, the trend has gone where they ask you about what is black box, what is white box, what is the pen testing phases. So normally I have seen a lot of companies now asking the questions based on a scenario. They will give you one scenario and based on a scenario, you need to give them a suggestion. So here the question is, you have been requested to do penetration test for the online e-commerce website. What should be the first step? Here from this question, the interviewer would like to know, you know, what is the knowledge you have toward the process? Normally, you know, some some pen testers or when applicants, when they're giving an answer, they say first step is NDA signing, sorry, scoping, information gathering and all that. But in reality, it is not. The first step is basically NDA must be signed because before scheduling a meeting for the scoping and all that, it is very important for you to sign the NDA because that is called as a non-disclosure agreement. Non-disclosure agreement is basically ensure the information that you're collecting, you will not going to disclose to unauthorized party. After signing the NDA, you will schedule the meeting with the client and uh, understand their scope. Then you define the scope. Then you prepare the proposal. In the proposal, you add the scope. That is the first thing we have. Okay, add the scope. Then what is the methodology you're going to use? EC Council, LPT, OSTEM, OECP. So second part is basically you adding a methodology. Third, you're defining the list of tools. Then you talk about the resources and you're talking about the ideal time that will take. And if you would like to discuss about any limitation, challenges, supports and everything that will be amended in the report, in that process. So that is how we basically start the pen testing. So moral of the story is that the first step is NDA must be signed. Schedule the meeting, agreed on the scope, determine the budget, gain the authorization, prepare the proposal in which you will document the methodology, tools and techniques that you're going to use. And then based on that, on the agreed time, you will start the testing. Okay, so that is the first question. Let's move to the next interview question. Okay, so this is more like a conceptual question. You have been appointed, okay, you have been appointed as a penetration tester for an organization with the limited external information like the website you are like they have given you a website called abc.com you need to conduct end-to-end -end assessment of an organization so what kind of an assessment is this so in this case as you said we have a limited information so with the limited information we need to do the assessment so this is called as a black box okay black box where the company basically share the internal details about the website, source code, information, domains and everything, then it is basically called as a white box. A thin line difference between the black box and uh, white box is that in black box, we have a zero information about the target. We have to start from zero, like gather the URL, gather the website, analyze the website, then do the testing. From there, we perform the further attacks and try to enter into internal network, discover the other IPs. So that is called as a black box. And when you're talking about the white box, in white box, what happened? They give you the complete information directly. You want to perform the vulnerability assessment and do the pen testing. Actually, there is a reason we have for conducting a black box and white box. If you go by the black box assessment, the objective of the client would like to know what are the threats we have toward the organization. They would like to know if a simple hacker want to hack, what is the sort of information he can collect from the internet? Okay. And how he use the information to hack the things. So that is the purpose we have. Understood. So that is why client never share the information. They want to know that, okay, we think like a hacker and see how he can able to hack my network. But in the white box assessment, they are very clear. Okay. We have some assets in the organizations. We need to test those assets. My goal is to not to think like a hacker, but just want to see how secure is the systems. So that is why they share all the information. They will tell you the ports, details, everything. You need to directly perform the vulnerability assessment and provide the further PT report. So in this question, the answer is basically black box assessment because we have a limited information okay let's move to the next question okay 
so you have been appointed as a penetration tester for a organization you are responsible for assessing the wireless network before starting an assessment what is the most important aspect of wireless you will consider first see in wireless the biggest concern is the confidentiality of data because any device any hacker can configure the fake wireless access point okay with the similar name of the company wireless network name so what happened now we have a users they think it is a company wireless name so they will connect with that particular wireless access point and they do the further surfing so attacker will basically use that tool and technique by which they try to intercept the information or the second technique is if this is basically my legitimate wireless network okay now there is a attacker who try to find the brute force he do the brute force okay he try to dump the packets and try to decrypt those data so companies want to check how secure is my wireless network okay company want to check how secure is their protocols which is used by which we sending a data on the network wireless network so here i am a pen tester i am responsible for conducting an assessment so what is my first step my first step now how you handle this because the company want to know what is the experience toward the wireless you have so first step is identify and scope and check the ssids now what is ssid ssid is called as a service set identifier okay service set identifier so service set identifier is basically the name of the wireless network so first if i'm doing a pen testing of the different wireless network which is belong to different enterprise it is called as a hacking so first i will sign the nda then i will identify the list of ssids which is belong to the enterprise okay then we add in a scope then we document the methodology explain the procedure how we going to do the assessment because it is very important for us to give the clarity to the client how they going to carry the assessment based on that i will start with the discovering the wireless networks i will scan the wireless network i will try to do the brute force between the client and server and try to deauthenticate and reauthenticate again so i can able to intercept the packets and then i will also see what are the networks we have ip address we have which is belong to the network i will try to see the list of mac address which is connected to the access point okay i will try to intercept the traffic and i will try to perform the brute force against the capture traffic so to check whether we can able to decrypt those packets if i am able to decrypt those packets because in a wp it is common in every 5000 packets the pattern will be there so we just capturing the 5000 packet we can able to discover the wp key but in the case of wpa wpa2 i need to perform the dictionary attack so that is how i can able to perform the pen testing against the wireless network so identify the scope check the ssid make sure you should not do the pen testing of the ssid which not belong to your enterprise okay then you prepare the proposal define the scope define the methodology explain the process then you start monitoring we have a tool called air crack and all that by which you try to discover the active host associated with the access point try to try to perform the brute force attack try to deauthenticate the session between the client and server so they can resend the again so you can capture those packets dump those packets offline and try to find the password from there okay wep is easy to break okay sometime what happen in interview will say why wep is easy to break because in wep in every 5000 packet iv repeats so attacker will basically capture so th this is my client we have and this is my access point we have so client sending a packet access point sending a packet back so what attacker does attacker deauthenticate the session so next time again client sender request for an access an access point basically ask for the username password he will provide the password over the network so attacker capture this so he capture 5000 packet so that he can wait for the pattern to be repeat and by this pattern they try to find the password and that is why it is easy to break wep but in wpa the key size is increase iv is also increase and wpa2 is definitely more secure okay so that is how you can handle the wireless security questions let's move to the next interview question okay sometime what happen we do the pen testing for the compliance reason also so here's a question you have been appointed as a penetration tester for an organization your first task is to assess the company e-commerce applications and websites with generating a revenue now company want to ensure all websites and application control should be comply with the pcdss 
and one of the requirement of PCIDSS is to conduct the pen test on application. So how do you handle such challenge? Okay. So sometimes what happens, as I said, you do the PT for the compliance reasons. Mostly it is driven by the senior pen testers. And if you're going for the senior pen testing jobs and all that, so definitely according to that, they will ask you the questions. So here they have given you a scenario that you are a penetration testers and how you can handle the pen testing to comply for the PCDSS. Payment card industry data security system or data center system, whatever we call, it is a system which basically have a list of controls. So any company who collecting a credit card, debit card data, they need to be comply for PCIDS standard. And the requirement in the PCIDS is you have to test the website's application which collecting a data to make sure that website and application is secure. So how you basically handle this? The first thing is that identify the PCIDS requirement. What is the requirement of PCIDS we have? Then you will review the rule of engagements, agreement between the client and the and the provider example i am the pen test provider so i will agree okay this is something i'm going to do and this is your support then scoping is very critical in the pcdss because if you do testing beyond the scope it is called as a hacking then it is also very important you have to review some documentation like previous network diagram which give you the idea about how the data flow the last reports which is called quarterly external or internal vulnerability scan reports the last vulnerability pen testing reports because that give you idea about what was the last vulnerability we have discovered is it address or not because when i'm doing a pen testing i will address that first i will exploit that first then we check what are the external ips we have which is connect with the dmz's okay then we'll talk about the authorized user access the cd we have so cd is basically very important stuff we talk about cde cde so what is cde <clears throat> CDE. CDE basically stand for card holder data environment. Okay. Card holder data environment. So we have to see about how the CDs basically define access. So when we're doing a pen testing, I will basically check that area because CDE is a computer system or a network group of IT system that process uh, and store and transmit card holder data or sensitive payment authentication data. And CD also include any component that directly connect to the support the network. Okay, so network components are CD, point of sale is a CD, server is a CD, all applications are CDs. So we need to see what kind of a CD components we have and then we need to test that. Okay, make sure we should prepare the backups before taking a testing, before doing an assessment and then we can proceed for the assessment. So that is how we basically do the PT as per the PCDSS requirement. Okay, so identify what is the PCDSS expectation, what is the requirement in the PCDSS then review the rule of engagement, do and don'ts, scoping, what need to be test because you're doing the testing, ex, uh, you know, beyond the scope of the, of the PCDS requirement or beyond, beyond the enterprise, it is considered as a hacking. Documentation is a very important thing. So network diagrams, result of the quarterly, you can review, you can check what are the previous vulnerability we have. And when you're doing assessment, you do the assessment of those areas first, external IPs and less down all the CD components, what they have and see whether we can do the assessment of that. So that is how you can basically carry the assessment. Next interview question. Suppose you want to conduct the pen testing of enterprise firewall. Firewall configure with the secured configuration and block all kind of packet. How to test firewall in that case? It's a very common question which is asked in every interview. Okay, so we have a step-by-step -step process. First, Try to check what type of ports are open on the firewall. I know some ports are block or all ports are port, but some, definitely some legitimate ports need to be open. So with the help of trace route technique, we can able to analyze the firewall to return packet. Trace route with nmap utility, we can able to check what kind of open ports are there. If that is not possible, then we use a SCAPI. Okay, SCAPI. So what is SCAPI? SCAPI is basically used for creating a custom packets by which we can try to bypass the firewall. Sometimes what happened, they try to block all the signatures. So we divide the signature into fragmented packets, small, small packets, and then we try to bypass or with the help of HTTP tunneling, we try to bypass or sometimes what happens, some IPs are blocked, some IPs are only allowed. So we use those legitimate IPs by which we try to scan the firewalls. Okay. So if you take example of HTTP tunneling, so we use the HTTP port tool, HTTP, HTTP 
port tool okay so using an http port tool you will deliver the post request with a host name port number and path to the server so http proxy can be bypass which leave the proxy enable connect method as they obsolete to bypass if the connect method is disabled okay it is very difficult if it's enabled by which we can able to get the information about the server behind the firewall so by using a scapy we can create a custom traffic by custom packet and we can able to bypass the firewall and we can check what the further ports are open we use the spoof ips we spoof the ips of the legitimate which is approved one in the firewall we use those ip and by which we try to bypass the firewall so these are the and traced with nmap is most effective tool we have by which we most effective technique we have that we can use to bypass the firewall so this is all from my side okay i'm also coming with the second part of the pen testing do let me know how do you find this video series of pen testing and uh, do share your uh, suggestion in the comment box that you want more videos like that on pen testing or bug bounty and anything okay if you're new to the channel do subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos on a similar topic thank you goodbye